Yo, what's going on guys? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV and today we are going to talk about pitching tips. I'm going to give you guys some pitch combos. I'm going to show you how to use analog pitching, which is the best pitching in the game uh, that you can use. And also I'm going to give you a tip that should help you out a lot with uh, what you need to do on the right stick when you are pitching. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into practice mode. Uh, we're going to jump into practice mode because <clears throat> then we can pretty much pitch uh, the whole time. So if you don't know what practice mode is, uh, it's a good thing to do. A lot of the top players, they do it. Uh, all you need to do is go over to, uh, I believe the mini modes over here, and then you can do pitching practice. Now when you pitch, I really recommend that you use a pitcher that, um, I recommend that you use pitchers that you like to pitch with, especially if it comes down to like a difference in H per nines. Like you can see uh, with my team here, um, I have some like really elite pitchers, but I, I don't pitch particularly well with every elite pitcher. Like you kind of have to pick a pitcher that you feel comfortable uh, using. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video today uh, as well. As you can see, here's my pitching rotation. I go with Kershaw, Sale, Bumgarner, CC Sabathia from Conquest is awesome. And I also like Steven Strasburg. Uh, I, I think that Noah Syndergaard is one of the best pitchers in the entire game, but I just don't pitch very well with him. Um, so and Jake Arrieta is one of the best pitchers too. But I don't really pitch that well with him either. You want to be getting uh, where you hit the line and you hit the hoop and you get good green throws, as I like to call them, green pitches, as I like to call them. And uh, you got to find guys that you're comfortable with their motion and their timing. So that's real important. So that's why I use those guys. But everyone's going to be different. You know, everyone's going to have certain pitches that they throw with uh, better. So consider that if you're looking at. A couple different pitchers make sure you find ones that you really like to pitch with I think that's really important uh, especially if they're H for 9 and K for 9 are right, close cool. so let's actually let's take a look at like Kershaw's card here now the most important stats of the pitcher uh, are going to be H for 9 and K for 9 extremely important by far the, the two most important uh, BB per 9 and control are very important. Velocity and break are very important. Home runs per 9 and clutch are not very important. Um, that just kind of gives a little PTI boost here or there, but it's not very important. And HR per 9 really is more of a stat that the uh, computer will use, um, you know, if you're playing against the computer. So those stats aren't that important. You want to find pitchers that have good H per 9, good K per 9, good velocity, good break, and I actually like pitchers that have good BB per 9 and good control because I want to get green throws and I want to spot my pitches uh, very well. So that's what I look for in tributes. But let's go ahead and head over to practice mode so that we can uh, do some practicing and I can kind of give you a better breakdown. So for today's practice mode, uh, let's go ahead and take uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go ahead and take like a roll as Chapman. Um, maybe I'll do a couple different pitchers here. But uh, let's go with the roll as Chapman. Um, um, let's go against uh, my hometown team, the Royals. Uh, they're my favorite team, so we'll go against them. Uh, we'll play, I don't know, let's play at, uh, we play at uh, the K. Let's just play at Can in Kansas City's Park. So we'll go ahead and enter practice mode. Now practice mode is good for hitting. If you guys haven't seen my hitting tips video, go check that out. I think it has like 20,000 views at the time of this recording. So if you like tips and that kind of stuff, be sure to sub to my channel and like the channel. You guys know all that or like the video and all that. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the pitching tips. Now. I'm going to give you a couple of combos here. Now, uh, if you're throwing fastballs, fastballs high and inside are really good pitches. And uh, let me see what difficulty this is on because I don't want them fucking smashing the ball on me. 
because I don't make the tutorial look like shit. But uh, you should probably practice on Legend. Um, I don't know. We'll just go on like we'll go on All Star. Hopefully they don't hit me too hard. But uh, you no know, high and inside fastball is always really good, and uh, especially left on left. And then a pitch that's good that combos with that four seam fastball is you throw a slider, and I like to throw it right on his knee. That's kind of my aiming spot, and it'll get the computer to chase a lot. And uh, the view that I'm using is I'm using a pitcher offset. That's the uh, camera mode that I'm using. Um, strikes on user hitting, and then I use pitcher offset for pitching. I, I love pitcher offset. It's great. Um, it's a great one. So definitely try that out. If you don't like pitcher offset, I recommend strike zone because you can kind of place the ball wherever. But I like pitcher offset. So find um, find a view that works for you. Uh, to a right hand hitter, I'm going to go back with a high and inside heat. I didn't really get it quite where I wanted it there. And uh, let me tell you about what I'm doing on the stick here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know, he might hit it pretty good. But what I'm doing on the stick is instead of pulling straight down, you can see how I got it angled in the top right. I'm going to pull down into the left, and then I'm going to push up into the right. I didn't quite execute it perfectly there. Uh, we're going to go with the change up now because if you're a left handed pitcher throwing to a right handed bat, or if you're a, uh, excuse me, if you're a right, left handed pitcher throwing to a right handed batter, Changeups and curved balls low are really effective. If you're a right-handed pitcher throwing to a left-handed batter, then changeups and curved balls will be effective there. So if they are not the same hand as the pitcher throwing the ball, then you want to throw a changeup low or a curveball low. That will get them to swing over the top and miss it. But what I was saying here is let's say we go high and inside. We're going to push down to the left. And I didn't really execute that well, but you want to push down to the left and push up to the right. That's really how you, uh, you don't have to pull straight down. You can push down to the left and then hopefully up to the right. I, I don't know why I'm not executing that very well. I'll try it one more time here. But just like that, just like that, down to the left and then back up at that angle. I don't know if you guys have ever played the, the arcade game. Um, golden T where like you'll like go back on the ball and then go up at the angle or like that that golfing game but it's very similar uh, if you think about it on a clock you'd be going like 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock or you'd be going you know maybe 4 o'clock to uh, 10 o'clock you want to go at those angles you don't have to go straight down and then over to the side or straight down and over to the side you can go down and back up down and back up does that make sense I hope that makes sense but that's a that's a huge factor in being able to pitch better with analog <clears throat> and you got a hold of that one because I've been throwing this, the same pitch in the same spot which is something you really don't want to do so for this one straight up and straight down you can see where the hoop is so I'll, I'll go straight up and straight down on the stick if that makes sense <clears throat> This is called a back foot slider. It's a really good spot for a slider. It just makes it really tough to hit for a right-handed uh, hitter. <clears throat> I guess I could explain, explain a little bit more of the analog pitching. Uh, with the left, see if I move it to the left, it goes to the left, and then you can see where the plate is too. And then if it goes to the right, it goes to the right. So it's, I'm gonna put it, one of my favorite pitches is to pitch uh, high and inside off the plate a little bit like this to jam them. And then if I miss a little bit inside, it still goes to where I was wanting it to go for a jam. Even if it's a strike, that's all right. Now we're going to go with that slider. Now you can put it right here if you want to throw it for a strike. Or you can put it right on his knee if you want him to chase. Um, that time I threw it a little bit too far outside. So let's throw another one inside. I'm going to go down at this angle with the stick. I'm not going to pull the stick straight down. I'm going to go down at this angle with the stick and then I'm going to push up to the left. That's really a huge, huge tip. Well, I screwed that one up. I screwed that one up. Bear with me. We'll do it again. Um, push it down. To the right. All right. This time, I'm, I'm not going to talk while I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it. Because sometimes when I'm talking, when I do it, it makes it a little bit tougher. 
not perfect, but still a good enough spot. Let's go um, like eight o'clock to two o'clock. Not bad, not bad. That's like the biggest tip that I can give you guys is you don't have to push straight down and then go over to the side. You want to push it angles and then go back up to that angle. So push down to that angle and then go up to that angle. Push down to that angle, go up to that angle. At the time I did not execute that very well. But I'm, I'll do my best. I'm, not, I'm still not 100% perfect all the time, but once you get into the flow, like once I get warmed up and start getting, getting going, um, you know, I'm a lot better. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw some pitches. And uh, you guys pretty much get the basic idea, but I'll just try to do the best I can on hitting the meter and all that. So now we're going to throw on that change up low. Get him a chase. Ooh, barely got a piece of it. And again, offhand, change up lows are going to look like a fastball. <clears throat> Let's bust them up and inside. You never want to, you know, when you're pitching, you always want to kind of move the ball around. You don't want to put it in the same spot with the same pitch over and over again. You want to change their eye level, you know, change pitches. That's what I call a movie slider, actually. Uh, if your guy doesn't have a curveball, you can always throw a slider down here low. Kind of, uh, if you execute it right, it makes it tough to hit. We're going to bust uh, Moss inside. Now throw him a strike right here, make him swing. Kind of uh, was a little bit off. Try to uh, make that one too perfect. Uh, the speed at which you pull down on the stick, it kind of like, I usually pull down pretty fast, but it, you don't have to pull down super fast, but you do want red throws. That's definitely for sure. Uh, definitely something you definitely want to get is red throws. That's a back foot slider, and now we'll execute change up low. So it's over the top. Then you strike them out. Throw a fastball low this time. And then we will polish them off with the change up low. And you can practice on Legend if you want. He laid off that. Let's go back inside. I hope he doesn't rock this. And got it by him. <clears throat> so not too bad, you know. I don't know how we did for our score. But definitely practice. Practice is going to be key in getting better at this. It's not something that you learn in one hour. Uh, and if you switch to it and commit to it, it's a lot more fun than any other pitching mode to use as well. Um... You just got to commit to it. It takes you maybe like a week. But that tip that I gave you about going at an angle when that hoop moves, like not pulling straight down and then going, but going to the, those angles and then going up, that should help you out a lot. Um, I use uh, CQC Control Freaks as well. So that might really help you out as well. Um, they're like 14 bucks. Uh, I'd recommend like going to GameStop or going on Amazon. Uh, I can probably put a link in the video description. Uh, another um, mode that you can go to um, is Pitch Command. And this is just where you pitch to no batter at all. And you try to hit the target with the pitch ass, so it's asking for a slider. You just try to do your best to hit the spot it asks you to throw it at. But I've been using analog pitching for about uh, a little over a year now so it definitely gets easier over time I actually think like using meter or something else like that would be more difficult for me at this point just because I'm so used to this the great thing about this is it really puts it where you want to uh, where you want to be um this is a pretty good run right here actually 
And uh, I love pitching with Aroles too. I'm very comfortable with uh, his pitching motion. So that was a big reason why I chose him. I'd like to know who some of you guys' favorite pitchers are. And also, if you end up practicing after you watch this video, like put this video on while you practice. Um, it should help you out. Kind of missed there pretty bad. Missed there pretty bad. <clears throat> I mean, you're not always going to be perfect, but this should help your accuracy like tremendously when you're pitching in this game. Whoops. Then with the change up. But when you start hitting that line and hitting that hoop, you're going to be uh you're going to be doing real good. But just make sure you practice, you know, like if you don't feel comfortable with it, you know, play versus the computer and practice. Um, that's probably the best way to cut your teeth so you don't go online and you're just getting rocked. But you can do whatever you want to do uh, with it. So those are basically uh, my pitching tips. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, I can make a part two if you guys have any questions. I could definitely make a part two to the pitching tips. But those are my main tips. You know, <clears throat> especially that one tip about going down at the angle that you need to go down at. This is like, you know, the camera view. Some of those pitch combos, pitching high and inside, throwing sliders away. It's the same handedness and throwing high and inside and throwing low and just switching it up, man. The big, it's just like hitting. Like you want to, when you're hitting, you're trying to figure out the rhythm of the pitcher and what they're getting or what they're going to throw you next. And when you're pitching, you want to be unpredictable also as well. That's uh, really important. So I hope this video helped you guys out. This has been Movie with Movie Gaming TV. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if the video helped you out, hit that like button. And also hit it up with a share. Because uh, if you have your friends that need help with pitching, this video should help them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.